Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton. The man of steel. Superman! Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent.
Lloyd always gets her story. And luckily, she lived to write it. Thanks to Superman. stabilizer is one of the most effective yet devised, representing an investment in years. As a How'd you like to be making a test flight in this, Lois? Hmm, maybe I will. <laughs> Fine, Jan. Everyone off, please. Everyone off. Come on, Lois. That's us.
nothing will interfere with voyage to Tokyo. Attention, all pilots. Giant bomber being stolen. Take off immediately. <laughs> well placed bomb will stop pursuit. Looks like a job for Superman. in this plane, Lois. I'd feel much safer if Superman were here. <laughs> newspaper reporter, Clark Kent.
Subert. It's about time you showed up. Come on, come on, hand it over. Okay, boss. Here it is. This is a swell racket, boss. And the Superman outfit, it works like a charm. Gee, boss, it was only a fin. Next time, it'll be a Mickey fin. Well, that's ridiculous. It couldn't be Superman. What do you make of it, Clark? Hey, you two. The editor wants you to cover the opera tonight. And don't forget, it's formal. Good. Now I can wear my new evening gown. <laughs> Did you enjoy the opera? What's the matter, stupid? Did you lose your tongue? Don't stand there like a dummy. Give me the jewels. Are you trying to double-cross me? Why, you... Hey, boss, that's Mr. Superman. I uh, didn't expect to see you here.
Do you suppose... Yes, Lois? Oh, nothing. Just a silly hunch that maybe Superman might be over here. Quiet! Do not talk! Shanasta! This sabotage must stop at once! Konadawa!
wake of a series of baffling crimes, the body of an elderly man has just been found in the marsh flats outside the city. He has been identified as the watchman at the Metropolis Munitions Plant. There's a story, or I'm no reporter. He is believed to be the victim of an organized ring of saboteurs. More news later. Huh, sounds like there might be a story at the plant, Lois. Lois? Me name is Lois, not Lois. Gee whiz, everybody in Triple H me name wrong. It's Lois. L O U I S. Lois. Er, uh, uh, Louise. Er, uh, Lucy. Now I'm so mixed up, I don't know who I am. <laughs> Take your post in the main shop. Be on the alert. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, pardon me. That was a good job you did on the watchman last night. Now, uh, how about that dynamite charge under the shops? It's wired to the switch on a plant floor below. But the new watchman pulls that switch tonight, the whole Shh. place... Ready? Where? 
Dr. Jordan, yet you admit these fingerprints are yours. Yes, but, but you don't. That's all. Can't speaking. Hello, Daily Planet. This is Dr. Wilson of the Egyptian Museum. I've just uncovered something that may free Miss Hogan. Yes, Doctor. Uh, I, I've been feeling much better lately, but I'll be right over. I'll see you later, Lois. Doctor's orders. Doctor, my eye. Dr. Jordan was the world's foremost student of hieroglyphics. Most of our priceless specimens were brought back by him, even the mummy of King Tush. Among his possessions, I uncover this ancient Egyptian tablet and find it to be a secret curse of the tomb of King Tush. He who disturbs the eternal sleep of King Tush shall perish. This tablet may well be Miss Hogan's passport to freedom. 
Come with me, please. Upper Nile was ruled by an old and powerful king. He had been warring with the Lower Nile for many years, and just before the old king died, he called his son to him, the young boy of twelve. He commanded his giant guards to swear an oath of eternal allegiance to the boy prince to guard him constantly in this world and the next. Shortly after, the old king died. The youth of twelve now ruled the kingdom of ten million people, but the boy was not fashioned for such responsibility, and being of a sickly nature, soon became ill himself. Never was a person attended more faithfully than this youth, yet he withered away and soon died. True to their oath of allegiance, each of the royal gods drank poison, so that they might continue to protect the spirit of their young king in the Valley of the Dead. Here in these catacombs, Dr. Jordan has reconstructed the burial vault exactly as he first discovered it in one of the pyramids. Working for years in absolute and frenzied secrecy, he finally duplicated an ancient mystic formula, which he called the fluid of life. Just before he was found dead, Dr. Jordan had inoculated each of the mummies of the giant guards. They were supposed to return to life, but somehow the test failed. Dr. Jordan was found here at the feet of King Tush. The rest you know. But what you don't know, Mr. Kent, and what I am equally certain of, is that Dr. Jordan violated the ancient warning by attempting to open the coffin of King Tush. <laughs> needle. That's how Dr. Jordan was killed. Yes, and Miss Hogan is a free woman. Than a streak of lightning. 
more powerful than the pounding surf. Mightier than a roaring hurricane. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. sick of this fool masquerade. I shall be glad when I'm finished with my work here. Uh, Captain, the submarine fleet commander is impatient for news of the American convoy. He will be advised of its location shortly. To your post, my still. Lieutenant. Lieutenant Fleming. Miss Lane. Yes? Here, take these. Important papers. Destroy them. Ah, American stubbornness. I give you just ten minutes to remember what you did with those papers or I will be forced to brighten your memory with fire. So! So what? Das ist genug! That's fine. I warned you, Fräulein. Unless you talk, I will make no effort to interfere with these natives. Oh, cut the comic opera stuff. Very well. Nungala. of the papers, I can... I have to look! Your Yankee baby was in vain! <laughs> Hurry! Contact submarine fleet commander at first! Yeah, Looks like they're having a party down there. And us not invited. How do you like that? What's that? It's Fleming ship. Empty. I wonder.
goes on to say that during this action an entire fleet of Axis submarines was destroyed by American dive bombers, affording the troop ships a safe crossing. For the mighty mission, praise the Lord, and pass the ammunition and will all be discovered what are now known as the Henderson Caverns. More than 40 years ago, he mysteriously disappeared while exploring them further. Recently, I found these maps and charts he left, suggesting there still greater wonders and mysteries lay beyond in this vast underground world. Now, if your paper will help finance the expedition, I will take Miss Lane and Mr. Kent with me and guarantee the Daily Planet exclusive rights to the story. Sounds like a great story, Chief. I'd love to go. Well, let me see. All right, it's a deal. Thanks, Mr. White. We can leave immediately. Careful now. Those are explosives for the blasting we'll have to do. We're shoving off, Kent. Meet you in the Blue Grotto. So long, Clark. See you later, Lois.
of him. job for Superman. story, Lois. But no one would ever believe it. Up in the sky! Look! Oh, it's a plane! It's a plane! It's Superman! <laughs> Thank you. 
streak of lightning. More powerful than the pounding surf. Mightier than a roaring hurricane. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. You can't pick your assignments. Hurry over and cover that consumer's meeting. But, Chief... But nothing. That's final. was a close call. I've got to get to police headquarters immediately. What? You're damnless in shop, Skipper. I sent you out to bring back that woman. And what happens? You let her get away and bring me this fool. She must not get to the airport. She must be stopped. They are probably the largest and most ruthless gang of saboteurs in this country. I know. For six months, they thought I was one of them. This briefcase contains a list of their names, together with their diabolical plans of destruction. They will stop at nothing to recover these records. I must get them through to Washington. Mm, I understand. I'll see that you have an escort to the airport. This way. Quick. on the bridge. The place is surrounded by cops. Hello? Marriage? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Don't done about that. Something went wrong. We've got to get those records.
Kandidat ist verrückt geworden. Zum Teufel! Was sollen wir tun? Schmeißt die Wände ein! 